Hi. When I looked at the examinations that students have to give in 11th and 12th, if you have taken PCM, there are a lot of engineering exams. And if you are a student in Karnataka, I looked at what are the different examinations available to them and I'd rank them on the importance levels, you know, based on the research I have done. It might change based on the research you have done, but from the basic research I have done, I think the most ex important examinations for any PCM student pursuing engineering of pure sciences are these. I think the most important exam is the J main exam and the JA advanced exam because it will give you admissions to you know, 40,000 seats which are coming from government funded technical institutes, they are known as GFTIs, the triple IITs, NITs and the IITs, totally 39,000 or 40,000 seats there. The next very important exam I think is BITSAT, okay? that gives you admission to BITS Pilani, Hyderabad and Goa. Now very few people in Karnataka give BIT EEE -E exam. But VIT, Bellur, is ranked in the top 15 colleges in the country. Why won't you give an exam, this exam? The very next examination is the West Bengal JE. It gives you admissions to Jadavpur University, which is ranked almost like 14th in the country. The next exam that every student in Karnataka, it's a pursuing engineering, should give is the Karnataka CET. But if you're not in Karnataka, then you would give your state CET or equivalent exam. Maharashtra would give it Maharashtra CET. Or people from other states would give their state board examination for engineering colleges. Following this, in Karnataka, we have something called as a Comet K. This exam gives you admissions to the top colleges in the, in the state. And this lets you from students from other states apply to Karnataka to the common K. Other than that, every state will have its own private colleges and they will have their own entrance exams. Karnataka has the Manipal deemed university. So you'll give the Manipal exam and then you'll also give the PESET exam. This will get you to the top colleges in the country and the top colleges in the state. You might be sure that you want to get into engineering. However, we recommend students and I would you know think that you know if you give the exams like the KVPY exams you can get into the top colleges like the Indians of Sciences, uh, ICERS and so on. There are also exams called the NEST exams. ICERS have their own exams. If you love mathematics and you want to get into pure mathematics then you need to give the examinations from Chennai Mathematical Institute or the Indian Statistical Institutes. In addition to this, if you're taking PCM and you like design, you need to give the design exam. NID has got its own exams. And then you have the exams from IIT Bombay, that's called the UCD exams. This will take you to engineering design. Finally, if you like, if you like architecture, you need to give the NATA exams. So these are the examinations that you have to give. I will explain in a little more detail going on. Now the a lot of the students who take engineering don't realize that most of them will not end up in engineering. Okay, Let's look at the placement data of IIT Bombay. Now IIT Bombay, nearly 35% of the students, only 35% of the students get into engineering. Okay. The remaining 18% get into IT or coding. Now, coding is not an engineering job. But the rest of them get into research, consultancy, service jobs, education and so on. So you need to realize that Am I doing engineering to get into core engineering or am I doing engineering to get into services, coding, you know, consultancy and so on. Now if your choice is clear, that is if you've got a clear vision and says I want to stick to engineering, then you have to make a decision that I want my branch. The branch becomes very important. And if you're not very clear and you says I want to get into um, engineering, then I want to you know, uh, pursue any field that comes my way then the college becomes very important. Give an example, if you're a student who's got a choice of getting into IIT, Bombay, into, for example, metallurgy, or you have a choice of getting into triple IT, Bangalore, into computer science, if you love computer science, the choice is very clear. But if you don't love computer science, then you probably choose IIT, Bombay, uh, metallurgy, because the brand of IIT, Bombay is much bigger than the brand of triple IT. Bangalore. Now the JMA and uh, the examinations, that will get you admissions, I've said, into GFTIs, IITs, NITs and the IITs. The applications would be open now, probably around November, December and you will have examinations in January and in April. Okay? For the examination in April or May, the applications would open up in February. So uh, go to the website, register as soon as possible if you are pursuing JE mains next year. If you love computer science, the top colleges in the country are the IIT Bombay's and IIT Chennai. But following that, 
the best colleges is Triple IIT Hyderabad and Triple IIT Bangalore. Now the applications for the UG exam that takes you into Triple IIT Hyderabad opens up in February. The link for it is below. Please fill that application out. The next exam after this is the BITSAT. The registration for the BITSAT opens around December to January and the examination is around May. That gives you admissions to the three BITS that is in uh, Pilani, Hyderabad and Goa, a total of 3,000 seats. The link for the website for the application is mentioned below. Please have a look at it. The next exam out there is VIT EEE. Now, VIT EEE examination, the registrations open up from November to uh, February and the examination is in April. That gets you to 5,000 seats across the four campuses. That's in VIT Vellore, Andhra Pradesh, Hyderabad, and in Bhopal. The link for the registration is mentioned below. Have a look at it. The most popular exam in Karnataka for all engineering students is the Karnataka CET. But we have seen that students who are pursuing the IITs, pursuing the NITs, uh, and want that brand, not giving the Karnataka CET exam, thinking that it's not a good brand and I don't want to get into the colleges in Karnataka. However, if you love a branch and you says, I want to get into mechanical, I want to get into computer sciences, but I'm not able to get that branch in the NITs or not be able to get into the IITs, you have to take it, uh, the Karnataka CT, and get to the top colleges in Karnataka. The top colleges in Karnataka, sometimes the placements are better than the NITs. If you look at, for example, the computer science placement in RV College, Bangalore, is comparable to the placements that you get in NIT Suratkal and better than the placements that you get into NITs across the country. So pursue the Karnataka CET exam, but pursue the best colleges in Karnataka through it. The next examination out there is the Comet K examination. Now you've taken all these examinations, you've given the Karnataka CET, but not been able to get to the top colleges through a government quota. But you are willing to get to the top colleges through a management seat then Comet K comes in place. Comet K also comes in place if you want to get to the top engineering colleges in the state, but you're not a domicile of Karnataka. So Comet K, the applications are out in Jan. The end date is around May. You will get to the top college like the RV College, Ramaya College, Dhananda Sagar, BMS College, Vishweshara College of Engineering, and so on. The next examination that we would like you to give, and I think it should most students do give, is for example, the Manipal examination, the Manipal deemed university. The applications for it is out from, uh, from November to March. The examination is around April. Finally, there are private colleges like the Pesset College, Dhananda Chagar College. They too have their engineering exam. Now Pesset's unique thing is got nearly 700 seats in computer sciences. If you love computer sciences and want to get into the colleges uh, with the computer science branch and you're not able to get into NITs or the RV colleges or BMS college, then Pesset is your choice. Okay. So please give the PESAT exam. Like I said earlier, you know, you might be wanting pure uh, engineering, but you also want to search, give an option to pure sciences as well. So the top exams, please give the KVPY exams, the NEST exams, or the, for example, the Indian Statistical Institute exams, the ICE exams. You might not qualify in it, but you'll give an exposure to these examinations and you will do better in your engineering exams. IIT Bombay has got a exam called the UCL exam and that gets you to engineering design. Very few people give this examination. But if you like designs and you are a creative person, but you want to get into engineering and design, this is the course for you. Now, National Institute of Design 2 has got courses in designing. And generally when people talk about fashion design, that's what the thing comes in mind. But from engineering design, you design a product, you design a car, you design you know, anything you can think about in this world is design and it's done by the design engineer. So giving NIDs exams or giving the UCD exam gets you to this path. So consider that UCD exam there. Finally, now I've listed out all the engineering exams, the pure science exams that, you know, are uh, valuable or important to be given. But if you like architecture, there are examinations out there too, like the second paper in the JE main or the NATA exams out there. So you'll have a bunch of examinations to give. I would like to end this by saying that a lot of students while they're in the 11th and 12th are really confused on what branches to take or which field to take. I would like to tell you that advice that we have given at CFL is that while you're in 11th and 12th, just focus on the subject, you know, just get that clear and give all the examinations possible. 
like I've said before, if you prepare for your JEE main, JEE advanced, you are generally prepared for most of these examinations out there. But once you give these examinations, you'll have a list of options available to you. Then consult someone, you know, find out your personality, find out your interest, then choose the college or the branch you want to get into. Not deciding and not worrying about it while you're in the 11th and 12th. If you like this video, if you find this content useful, please subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.